Flying behind enemy lines to gather intelligence is risky business. So the Air Force developed a small unmanned aerial vehicle in the 1990s. The Predator. At just 27 feet long and with a wingspan of 49 feet, it's flown remotely and can stay airborne for 40 hours. Armed with two Hellfire missiles, this UAV delivers a punch that can destroy tanks or bust bunkers. But for today's frontline warfighter, the Predator isn't practical. Faced with an enemy that's planting IEDs or sniping from rooftops, troops now have their own smaller versions that can be carried in a backpack and launched by hand. The brains behind this new generation of UAVs is AeroVironment in Southern California. These unmanned aircraft systems are instrumental to the way our warfighters operate. They provide critical information within a critical time frame that enables those warfighters to do what they need to do to complete their mission. AeroVironment has three small UAVs in production, each with different capabilities. If they need to keep continuous coverage over an area for an extended period of time, they might want to use a Puma system, which can fly for two hours. The Puma is the largest of the three, with an eight-foot wingspan. It weighs about 13 pounds. What also sets the Puma apart is a mechanical rotating camera that can lock on a target and maintain constant surveillance. The airplane can fly in a straight line and can keep the camera focused on a given target, which helps them do their jobs much more effectively. And we can clearly see he has a weapon on the ground, he has a shovel in his hand, and he appears to be digging a hole. We've gotten really good feedback from the field where soldiers have been able to get intelligence just like this. When troops need a smaller, even more mobile UAV, they can turn to the Raven. Raven is the most prolific unmanned aircraft in the world today. We've shipped more than 15,000 of these little airplanes to customers all over the world. The Raven is more concealable than the Puma, but it can only stay airborne for 90 minutes. AeroVironment's smallest UAV, the Wasp, is roughly the size of a hobbyist's remote-controlled plane. Less is definitely more for our military customers. The Wasp is the smallest unmanned aircraft system in the world today. It weighs about a pound. It flies for about 45 minutes. It can be packed inside of a backpack. You just throw it in the air and it flies away. The Wasp's small size and quiet electric motor make it nearly undetectable from the ground. Tiny, stealthy, unmanned aircraft are the perfect tools for troops facing sniper fire. Once they know where the enemy is hiding, they can lower the hammer. Get down! Put the weapon down! Land your stomach! Sergeant. These are used by frontline warfighters. They have to be small. They have to be light. These mini UAVs also have to be tough. There have been cases where insurgents have actually hit these aircraft, put a hole in a wing, and when they bring it back, they can just take a roll of duct tape and put it on, tape it up, and send it right back out in the air. The biggest beating can come on landing. So the UAVs are built to break apart upon impact. Kevlar is a material that we use to ensure the strength and the lightness of these aircraft. When you see the kind of beating these take out in the field, you'll understand why we need to make sure this is very, very durable. But the pieces don't break. The troops can actually snap them back together. AeroVironment has one more UAV in development that can deliver a blow of its own. We've also been developing a totally new kind of a system, which is actually more like a munition than an unmanned aircraft system, and we call that the switchblade. The tiny switchblade is fired from a launch tube on the ground. As the plane approaches its target, the onboard explosive is armed. The switchblade then flies into that target and detonates, taking out that target and removing the threat.